Testing one two three four. Testing one two three four. Testing. Testing one two three four. Testing one two three four. Testing one two three four. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Fertitta Eastfield here on a complex of Post Oak Little League as it's the Raptors and the Mudcats as I am Justin Barbosa. Joined here by Mark Janelle. We're here for the championship game in the Miners League. These are the 10 and 11 year olds, the 11 and under kids. And today we have a matchup with the Mudcats playing the Raptors. And as it's a nice day outside, a little bit cloudy, but not too hot. Perfect day for baseball. The Mudcats finished the season at 9-7, and seven, and the Raptors finished the season at 6-10. and 10, So they've actually come from behind the playoffs. And we are underway here. As shortstop has it, and it's bobbled. And runner will be safe. The leadoff batter for the Raptors was Niff. He's a third baseman. Started out the season batting number seven and has worked his way up to the leadoff. He's one of their strongest hitters. And that pitch is high. Count be one and zero. Oh. We got Parker Dodson at the plate right now. And that's in there for a strike. Counts one and one. And Dodson, the core pitcher for the team, leads innings pitch and overall call the second baseman when not on the mound. And that's in there for strike two. Dodson leads the team in walks with 18. And his favorite food is Jose's dip. And swing and a miss, strike three. One away for the Raptors. <coughs> The Mudcats have had a strong pitching uh, all season. This is one of their top pitchers. And runner going to second as the ball goes to the backstop. And that's popped. Third baseman has it. And that's two away. Keller makes a nice catch third base and holds the runner at second. Next up is Doug Nicholson. This is the coach's son. They call him Greyhound. 
He's batting 366 on the season. And 12 RBIs, 22 runs. This guy knows how to drive in guys and score himself as that's low. Oh, wow. Hit right to the second baseman. And now in the top of the first. As we'll be right back here on Fight Ply, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And we welcome you back to Vi Ply, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, here in the bottom of the first. We got Doug Nicholson pitching for the Raptors, and he is pitching up against Austin Tipton, who's a leadoff batter for the Mudcats. And here's the first pitch of Tipton, as that's low. And it can't be 1-0. and And Tipton goes by the nicknames of Sunshine and AP. Led the team in runs, scored 21, and an on base percentage of 630. Here's the pitch, and that's low, 2 0. in there for a strike. Can we go to two and one? And in there for strike two. Counts even. As Austin's favorite movie is Top Gun. And that's low. Counts full. Since ready, here's the pitch. And swing and a miss, strike three. Went down swinging, that's all the coaches can hope for. And it'll be Owen Miller up to the plate, nicknamed Big O. And that's grounded, third baseman has it, though the first is in time, two away. Nice pitch. Brings up to the plate, Bo Kirksey. Everyone on the team calls him Bobo, and he's the uh, shortstop. Here's the 
Here's the pitch. And that's low to the backstop. And Bo's favorite memory from this season is the walk-off win against the Ironbirds in their first playoff game. A little unknown fact about Bo, he has a pet gerbil that he named Godzilla. And he's actually taking it for a walk. As that goes to the backstop. Counts 2 0. Oh, nope. hit by a pitch. As Kirk Dew takes his base. And the Mudcats will have one on with two outs. Brings up Ryan Adam, who led the team in RBIs with 17 and 17 hits. Do something here with one away, and that's a swing and a miss for strike one. It's a good pitch by Nicholson. And that's foul back. Counts 0 and 2. That's high. One and two. It's a dead ball. I believe the ball hit off his helmet. Adam takes a base. We have now have a runner at first and second. Bringing up Bo Livingstone. And that's low. One and no. Oh. Bo led the team in batting average, batted 452 this season, which is pretty incredible. And he is, uh, according to the coaches, a lockdown first baseman. And a little discussion with the manager on the mound. Here's the 1-0 count, and swing and a miss, strike one. And Bo's favorite sport is basketball. He is a huge Allen Iverson fan. And that's low, runners will advance. Here's a 2-1, and inside for strike two, and it counts even. And some good movement from Nicholson. Here's the 2-2, two -two. and swing and a miss, strike three, that'll end the inning. Yeah, that was a big escape from the Raptors here. They had runners on second and third. And a hit would have probably driven in two runs, and so they were able to get out and hold the score at 0-0. And we'll be right back here on Vite Fly, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors.
And we welcome you back to Vibe Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Still no score as we're here in the second inning. And it'll be number four, Hudson O'Donnell at the plate. Likes to go by HUD. That's a first baseman uh, for the Raptors. Miller on the mound for the Mudcats. And here's the pitch. And no count yet, as the batter's not in the box. And here's the pitch from Miller. That's high. And the count's one to no. Hudson's favorite athlete is George Springer. And the coaches say he's not afraid to eat a meal in the dugout. As George Springer, the former Astro, now the Blue Jays. Hudson's favorite player. And his favorite song is the Not Safe for Work version of Goosebumps by Travis Scott. And that's just high above the letters. Counts two and one. And that's grounded. Down third base, so the first is in time, one away. Tipton made a great play on that. Ball was hit to him and uh, he fielded it up. Made a good throw to first base and plenty of time to get the runner out. As Kobe Ward comes to the plate, goes by all business. And here's a pitch from Miller. And that's in there for strike one. And that's inside, counts one and one. And that's on the outside edge for strike two. Yeah, that was a good pitch. <laughs> Miller ahead in the count. Here's a pitch. And that's high, counts even. And swing and a miss, strike three. Two away for the Raptors. That's gonna bring up Jackson Weber, J-Dub. J-Dub's a left fielder and a center fielder uh, for the Raptors. Pass <laughs> yeah, up to Paul, one and oh. As Weber, it's always good for a relaxed laugh and smile. So he must bring a good energy to that dugout. That's counts 2-0. Oh. As he's an avid electric guitar player, and his favorite song is Lithium by Nirvana. A song that came out about 30 years before he was born. Definitely a great taste in music. As that's three and zero, oh. <laughs> and that's in there for strike one. Hitters count. Here's the pitch, and it's in there for strike two. Counts full. That was a good pitch. And that's lined right up the middle. That's going to go into center field. 
And that'll be a stand-up single. Yeah, that was a big hit right up the middle. It was just out of the reach of the Mudcat shortstop. Ran over, made a dive for it, but just couldn't quite get there. And now batting be number 15, Reed Ward. As that's high, 1-0. Foul back. Counts one and one. And that's in there for strike two. And Reed's favorite athlete is Mariano Rivera, one of the greatest closers of all time. And that's in there got for him out. three. Got him out, strike him out, looking. And we'll head to the bottom of the second. Still no score, Ash. We'll be right back here on Vipe Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And welcome back to Vi Ply, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Still no score as we're here in the bottom of the second. As I'm Justin Barbosa alongside Mark Burrell. And here's the pitch. That's outside, 1-0. And I want to shout out to Nate at HQ for being our QA. As counts 1-0. And account be 0 and 2. And swing and a miss, strike three, one away. Another strikeout for Nicholson. That's going to bring up Danny Martinez, number nine. He's their right fielder, and they call him D Train. Martinez had three inside the park home runs this season for the Mudcats. And with three of those, you really know he has wheels around the base. As that's a fly ball in the right field, it's going to go into right. And that's another stand up single for the Mudcats. Be one on with one out. That's going to bring up the coach's son, Austin Janelle. He's the second baseman and center fielder for the Mudcats, and his nickname is AJ. And that's in there for a strike, count 0 and 1. And Janelle has some speed. Runs like a 4.2 in the 40. 
He's also one of the youngest and smallest kids in the league, but he's got some power at the plate. And here's the 1-1 from Nicholson. As that's low. That's Runner good. goes to third. Here's a 2-1. And swing and a miss. Counts even at 2-2. Two two. It's a good pitch by Nicholson. Good cut by Austin, just a little bit above it. And foul back. Stays alive. And swing and a miss. Strike three, two away. That's going to bring up Fulton Whirlin. He's the left fielder. Nickname is Fulty. And that's low. 1-0. As catcher looks at the runner on third. And that's high. 2-0. Runner steps off the bag but goes the back. As Fulton is an avid Astros fan, and his favorite player is Carlos Correa. As that's outside, counts 3-0. And that's low, ball four. Puts runners on first and third for the Mudcats. And that's going to bring up Parso Mostagimi, who's the left fielder. And a left-hander. And his favorite memory was the game where he had a double and a triple in the same game. And that's in there for a strike. As that's fouled away, count will go to 0 2. Nicholson is ready. Here's the pitch. And outside, 1 and 2. And swing and a miss, strike three, and now in the second inning. Still no score as we'll head to the top of the third as we'll be right back here on Vibe Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors.
And we welcome you back to the top of the third. Still no score. As the Raptors are up here on the, at the, coming up to the plate. As that one's high, 1-0. One And that's in there for a strike. Counts one and one. Coaches call him Cammy June. He's a left fielder and center fielder for the Raptors. And that's grounded right to the pitcher. Throw the first in time and one away. Both pitchers have done a good job of keeping the pitch counts low in this game and getting in and out of the innings without too much trouble. And speeding through so far, already already halfway through the game. Here's the pitch. And that's in there for a strike for Quinn Persia. They call him Taquito. As his favorite food is sushi and favorite athlete is Jose Altuve. As counts one and one. Here's the pitch. That's low. And swing and a miss. Counts even at two and two. And that's high and outside. Full count at three and two. They actually caught him swinging. He tried to pull back the swing about halfway through, but he uh, had crossed the threshold, and so he's going to be out. Yeah, so I'll be two away. Brings up Aiden Bonney, number 19 for the Raptors. He has an on-base percentage of 389. Come in with a few crucial runs in the playoff series to get them to the championship game. As yeah, so there'll be a swing and a miss for strike one. Favorite food is New York Strip, and his favorite athlete is Amari Cooper. And that's on the edge for strike two. And right down the middle, strike three. And now in the top half of the inning, as we'll head to the bottom of the third, still scoreless here on Pipe Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Oh, 
won both games? Did you pitch? Back here in the bottom of the third, still scoreless. This will be number eight, Aria Z's. Z's is the right fielder for the Mudcats, always smiling and happy. Brings a lot of positive energy into the dugout. As Council on one. And that's high. A little fun fact, Ari plays the piano and he is fluent in Chinese. And that's low, two and one. And his favorite athletes are Mike Trout, Kobe Bryant, and Tiger Woods. Here's a 2-1. And that's way inside. Goes to the backstop. Hitters count at 3-1. And, and Nicholson is ready. And here's the pitch. And that's low. Full count at three and two. And that's in there for strike three, right on the edge, and that's one away for the Mudcats. Caught him looking. The coach is telling him to just swing at anything close to the full count. going to bring up number 29, Austin Tipton. As count's 0-1, back at the top of the order for the Mudcats. And that's low and inside. 1-1. One and one. Low and in the dirt, goes to the backstop. Two and one. And that's a fly ball. Le left center field. And that's going to drop all the way to the wall. Tipton going to second. And he's going to go for three. Here's the throw to third. And it's not in time. And that's a triple for Austin Tipton. Great hit by Austin, the center fielder. Made a play at it. Dove down to try to catch the ball. Just missed it. It got through him and went to the back of the uh, fence, allowing him to get all the way around to third base. And the Mudcats have a runner in scoring position with just one out. And a chance to put the first run of the board of the game. And a meeting with the infield as the manager will go back to the dugout. And it'll be number 21, Owen Miller. Here's the pitch of Nicholson. And that's in there for strike one. And that's foul back. And the count will be 0 and 2. Coaches are telling him now just to swing at anything close. Nicholson ahead in the count. Here's the pitch. And that's low. 1 and 2. That was a good pitch by Nicholson. And that's foul back. 
Miller staying alive. Here's the one two, swing and a miss, strike three. And it's now two away for the Mudcats. That's going to bring up Bo Kirksey, their third hitter in the lineup. Bo's a big power hitter for the Mudcats and has driven in a lot of runs this season. As that's low. And looks at third base as the runner will go back. And it can't be 1-0. Oh. Nicholson is ready. Here's the pitch. And swing and a miss. Strike one. Got him with the off speed. Big cut by Kirksey. And the Mudcats looking for any contact, bringing that run. Here's a pitch. And right on the outside edge for strike two. Nicholson ahead in the count. And that's a high fly ball to center field. And he gets under it, foul number three as the Mudcats strand one. And now in the third. And we'll be right back at the top of the fourth here on Vibe Fly, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. As we welcome you back to Vibe Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Still no score here in the top of the fourth. Miller on the mound for the Mudcats. And that's called the ball, 1-0. Allen's high. Here's the 2 0. -oh. And just low, 3 0. -oh. And that's outside. And he'll take his base. That's an important walk uh, for the uh, Raptors. Gets their 12th batter on base, bringing up their leadoff hitter. He's batting with a 410 average on the season. 
as it is Niff Fumaria with a runner on first, no out. And a tie outside, 1 and 0. Oh. And that's grounded. Second baseman has it. Throw the second is in time. No throw the first. Yeah, so that'll be a fielder's choice for the first out. And I'll bring up Parker Dodson. And that's fouled. And it'll be 0 and 1. Dotson has an on base percentage of 593 and led the team in walks this season. And that's grounded. Second baseman has it. Toss the second in time. And it'll be two away. Another fielder's choice. Good play by Austin Janelle. He's able to field that ground ball right up on the grass, turn around and make an easy flip to second base for the out. And I'll bring up JD Wynn. Likes to go by Dongles. And that's in there for a strike. Wynn with 18 RBIs for the season and has scored 23 times. And his favorite food is mac and cheese. Is that high? And Cal will go to one and one. And that's grounded. And that's going to go into left field. And it goes all the way to the wall. And they're going to send a runner home. And one will score. And one's going to go back close to the backstop. He's going to go home. And he's going to be in. And that'll be two runs on the single in the air. And it's 2 nothing Raptors. Yeah, that was a big hit. Got right in between the shortstop and third baseman. It was a hard hit ground ball. And the left fielder went between him. Uh, got all the way to the fence. And that will be E7. As the Raptors now lead it, 2 nothing. As that's in for a strike for the pitcher, Nicholson. Counts one and one with two outs. And that's tapped, grounded, and fouled. Only pitcher in this league, Nicholson, is to throw a complete game shutout. And he did so in the first round of playoffs. And Nicholson so far has pitched three innings of shutout baseball. Here's the pitch. And that's grounded. Third baseman has it, though the first is high and not in time as the runner will get the first. I think Tipton made the throw to first base, and the first baseman had to, had to jump off the bag to catch it, allowing the runner to get there just in time. Umpires are having a conference. It was definitely a close play. And the manager for the Mudcats is discussing it. Decision's been made, the runner's gonna stay first. As I'll bring up O'Donnell. With two outs, runner on first. Here's a pitch from Miller. That's inside. Runner going to second. And he'll get in with an easy steal. Get 
And runner going to third. Here's a throw. And caught in the middle. And he's just going to go back to second. Nicholson's one of the fastest runners on the team. I think he was taunting them, trying to bait them into making a throw and hoping they would throw a bad, like a bad play and he could get to third. And that's a swing and a miss for strike one. And that's low. Runner goes to third. Here's the throw. And goes back to second base. And like he said earlier, he's just trying to taunt them. Mudcast doing a good job of keeping him on second base. And here's the 3-1. And that's grounded. Second baseman dies for it. And he's not going to get it. Throw to home is not in time. And the Raptors increase their lead to 3-0. Hard hit, ground ball, close to the first base and second base. Austin Janelle makes a diving play to stop it, but wasn't able to pick it up in time to make the out at first. And it'll be a runner on second with two outs. Raptors now lead at 3-0. For number 50, Kobe Ward. And that's the swing and a miss for strike one. And here's so the third, and it is in time for the out. Him. And we'll head to the bottom of the fourth. As the Raptors score three, as we'll be right back here on Five Fly, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Here in the bottom of the fourth, Raptors lead at three nothing over the Mudcats, and that hits him, and he'll take his base. It's going to bring up Bo Livingstone, the fifth batter in the order for the Mudcats. Wind picking up here. And that's going to be a swing. Runner going to second and not in time as he'll be safe. And that's high. One and one. And that's low, goes to the backstop, runner goes to third. 
And he'll stay put right there. And it's a chance for the Mudcats to get on the board. Just with no outs. And two on count to Bo. Mudcats looking for any ground ball by Livingstone. You put the ball in play and let Adam bring in a run. And here's the 3 1. And that's in there for strike two. And swing and a miss, strike three. That was a good fast pitch by Nicholson up high. And two away from the Mudcats, or correction, one away. That's bringing up Luke Keller. Luke has come up with some big hits at crucial moments in the playoffs. As that pitch gets away on the strike. First playoff victory against the Ironbirds. Luke had a walk-off two-run double to win the game. And that ball is low. Can will go to one and one. And that's in there for strike two. Nicholson ahead in the count. And that's low. Two and two. Mudcats still have a runner on third. And that's high. Count goes full. Nicholson is ready. Here's a pitch. Low pitch that's going to allow the runner to take the base. Adam is going to stay at third. And it'll be runners in the corners for Danny Martinez. And coach coming out to talk with Nicholson. Martinez up to the plate. And that's in there for a strike, and the runner will go to second. Mudcats have runners on second and third with one out. And that goes to the backstop. Here comes the runner. And throw's not going to be in time. First run of the game for the Mudcats, and it's now 3-1. to one. Yeah, that was just a pitch that got away from Nicholson. It was high and inside. The catcher wasn't able to make the stop. It got to the backstop along a run to score. That's going to bring Keller over to third base for the Mudcats. Still one out. And the count will be one and one to Martinez. And that's fouled back. Counts one and two. Nicholson ahead in the count. And here's the pitch. And just outside, counts even. Nicholson's thrown a lot of pitches this inning. Mudcat's making him work. 
And inside, counts full at three and two. Actually called that a strike, he's out. That's gonna bring up Austin Janelle to the plate with two outs, runner on third. Oh, ball hit him. Dead ball, Austin's gonna advance to first base. That'll bring up Fulton Whirlin. And with two outs, runners in the corners. And Whirlin's favorite movie is Dumb and Dumber. Here's the pitch. That's a low, one and no. Austin's gonna advance to second. Left a little too early, and they're making him come back to first. Here's the one to know, and that's in there for a strike. And now the runner goes to second. Be two runners in scoring position, and one hit could tie this game. And swing and a miss, strike two. Good strong pitch by Nicholson. And a little bit of trouble, but Nicholson just focusing on getting this last out. Here's the pitch, that's low. And runner going to home. Here's a toss and not in time. And it's now 3-2 Mud, 3-2 Raptors. Keller's able to slide into home in time. That advances Austin Janelle to third base. Fulton is still at the plate. We've got two outs with the score at two to three. And it counts two and two with two outs. Mudcats cut the lead to one. Here's a pitch. And that goes to the backstop. Here comes the runner, and he's going to be safe, and we're all tied up at three. It's about taking advantage of opportunities. Advancing your runners into scoring position so that when the pitcher throws a pass ball, you're able to get in and tie up the game. Two runners scored on wild pitches. Here's a 3-2, and that's high, and Worland will take his base. Coaches come out. I think we're going to be seeing Nicholson retired as the pitcher. And the new pitcher will be J.D. Wynn. And we're going to take a little break here on 5 Fly, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, as Wynn warms up. And 
here back in the bottom. The fourth all tied up at three. With two outs. Runner on first. Here's pitch, first pitch from Wynn. That's high. One and oh. This pitcher is actually Reed Ward, number 15. They left Wynn at shortstop. And that's grounded. And that's fair. It goes into the outfield. Here comes the runner around third. And he will score, and it's now four to three Mudcats. Here's the throw to third, and he is out. And a runner will score. And now in the inning, as the Mudcats take a four three lead. Yeah, I think he would have been safe if he'd have slid. Instead, he tried to stand up, and he got tagged out right as he made it to the base. And we'll head to the top of the fifth, as the Mudcats now lead it four to three. And we'll be right back here on Vibe Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. As we're back here on Five Ply, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, here in the top of the fifth, as the Mudcats took a 4-3 lead in the bottom of the fourth. And two of those were on wild pitches. And here's the pitch from Miller. And that's a high fly ball to left field, and that's going to drop and go all the way to the wall. Runner goes to second. And that's going to be a stand-up double. That's, that's number 50, Kobe Ward. That was a big hit. Right fielder almost was able to make a play, Fulton Worland, but uh, couldn't quite get there. He landed right by the foul line, went all the way to the fence. It'll be Weber up to the plate as he fouls that one back. <laughs> and that's low. Count will be at one and one. That's low, two and one. And that's grounded down the third base line, and it goes foul. And the count will go even at two and two. Raptors have a runner at second base. It's a 
two to the Weber. And that's low. Counts full. It's a good stop by the catcher preventing the, bat, bat, the uh, pass ball, keeping the runner at second. And that's grounded right at the middle. Pitcher has it. And toss the first at end time. Here comes the runner going to third. And the tag is there, and he is out. Got him for the double play. Uh, he dropped the ball. Third baseman bo bobbled the ball when it came in, so the runner's going to be safe at third. And they, and they get the out at, at first. And it'll be one out with the runner on third. Has to be number 15, Reed Ward. And that goes to the backstop. Here comes the runner. And here's the score with ease. And we're all tied up at four. As Ward scores, and Ward up at the plate with 1-0. Here's a 2-0, and that's outside. And that's low, goes to the backstop, ball four. And Ward will take his base. I think the coaches are gonna switch out the pitching here for the Mudcats. I believe we're going to see Bo Kirksey take the mound. Actually, it's going to be the other Bo. Bo Livingstone is going to be throwing for him. And as Livingstone warms up, we'll take a quick break here on Vibe Live. As we'll be right back here on the bottom of the fifth. As scores 4-4. And we welcome you back to the top of the fifth with one out all tied up at four. Now at the plate for the Raptors is Cameron Tadishi, nicknamed Cammy June. As counts one and zero. Oh. And that's in there for a strike. Counts of one and one. And that's high. And that's another one high. Hitters count at three and one. And that's inside, ball four. And to this, you'll take his bit, take his base.
As number eight, Persia, comes to the plate, known as Stiquito. And he has a chance to do some damage. The runner's on first and second. And just one out. And that's low. Count to one and zero. And that's in there for strike one. And foul back and out of play. Counts one and two. Living zone ahead in the count. And that's in there for strike three. Caught him looking. And that's two away. <laughs> and now up to the plate is Bonnie, known as AB. And he fouls that one, counts 0 and 1. And that's inside. And gets past the third baseman. Runner heads home. And he's going to score. And the Raptors retake the lead at 5-4. to four. That's the throw from the catcher. It's a little bit to the left. And that went into the outfield and foul territory. As it's now 5-4. to four. Here's the pitch. And that's high, one and two. And swing and a miss, strike three. As the runner will score. And it's now five, the four Raptors as we'll head to the bottom of the fifth. And we'll be right back here on Vipe Live. And we're here in the bottom of the fifth. As the Raptors have a 5-4 lead. And that's a swing and a miss for strike one. We've got Mudcats have a Z's at the plate. 
And that's a swing and a miss, a strike two. Great off speed by Ward. And that's low in the dirt, one and two. Here's the pitch. And swing and a miss, strike three. That's going to cycle through their order, and it's going to bring up the leadoff batter for the Mudcats, Austin Tipton. This is the inning where the Mudcats looking to make something happen. And that's a fly ball in the infield. It bobbles it, though, the first not in time, and it'll be an infield single for Tipton. And the Mudcats will have a runner on with just one out. And it'll be Miller at the plate. Raptors making a switch. They're moving Doug Nicholson from second base out to center field. Clearly expecting Austin to have a big hit. Miller, excuse me, Miller's at the plate. Here's a pitch from Ward. And that's a hard hit ball into left field. And that's going to be a single for Miller, and there'll be runners on first and second with one out. It's going to bring Bo Kirksey up to the plate. Fouls that one back. And the Mudcats starting to make some good contact. And fun fact about Kirksley, he actually came back after spring break and just started mashing the ball to the point where other teams started intentionally walking him. And has a chance to do something here with two outs or one out with runners in first and second. Yes, yeah, that's high. One and one. And that's high and inside. Counts two and one. Here's the pitch from Ward. And that's low, three and one. Hitters count for Kirksley. And that's right down the middle for strike two. And runners going to second, caught in the middle. All runners have to go and they're all gonna be safe. Catcher made a throw to first base when the runner had just left from there. And Allowed the runners to advance to second and third. Good and position for the Mudcats. And it'll be a full count at three and two. And a hit right here could give them the Mudcats a lead. Coach Nicholson calling a timeout, approaching the pitcher's mound, having a little strategy session. Some more cats have runners on second and third. Just need a big hit right here to take the lead. And coach still having discussion with the infield. And all the players go back to their respected positions. And still a 3 2 count to Kirksey. Ward is ready. Here's a pitch. And that's ball four. Base is loaded.
That's going to bring up Ryan Adam, who's a strong hitter for the Mudcats. The Mudcats are in a position here with the bases loaded with only one out. And team leader in RBIs, here's the pitch, that's high. And runners heading home. And here's a throw, not in time. And we're all tied up at five. Runners for the Mudcats advance to second and third. Still one out. And yeah, counts one to no. Ryan Adam. And that's fouled back over to Dugout. Counts one and one. And that's high. Two and one. And the umpire's going to get together. Yeah, not sure what they're discussing. What do you think, Mark? I'm not sure either. Uh, he's pointing to the plate as if it was something was occurring in the, in the batter's box, possibly. There's a discrepancy, I think, about talking to the Raptors coach. The wind and the clouds picking up in the area. Hopefully no rain later. And couldn't beat the breeze with no heat. As the umps are still having a discussion talking with the manager. Appears to be something having to do with the positioning of the players. like we're going to resume with no changes being made. As the count's at two and one with one out. Adam still at the plate. Ward is ready. And here's the pitch. And that's high. Count's now at three and one. And here's a swing to the left side, just fouled. Yeah, Adam got around on that, it was a good hit. Ripped it down past third base, landed about three feet outside the foul line. And it counts now four at three and two. Here's a pitch from Ward. And that hits him, and he'll take his base, and there'll be bases loaded, just one out. That's going to bring up Bo Livingstone to the plate. He's also a big hitter for the Mudcats, and they're looking to capitalize on this opportunity in the fifth inning. And a big opportunity of bases loaded. As that's outside, 1-0. And that's a hard hit ball in the center field. That'll score one. Here comes the second runner. And he'll score. And the Mudcats now lead it seven to five with the RBI hit from Livingstone. Yeah, that was a bomb. That was a great hit over the second baseman shortstop right in between them out to center field and allowed two runners to score even though uh, they kept him to a single. And it'll be number 12, Luke Keller, up to the plate. And that's a soft hit grounder right to the pitcher. And throw the first is in time. And no, they're going to call him safe. 
And it'll be an infield single. That was a close play. Pitcher made a great throw over to first base. And once again, it'll be bases loaded, just one out for Danny Martinez. As the momentum has shifted all the way to the Mudcats. And Ward and the Raptors trying to get out of this inning. Here's a pitch. And that's hot. 1 0. And Martinez pops that one up. That should end the inning. Well, that's going to be two outs. Correct. Bringing Austin Janelle to the plate. Bases are still loaded. And still a big opportunity here for the Mudcats. Bases loaded, two outs. Here's the pitcher to Janelle. And that's grounded right to the pitcher. And throw the first is in time for out number three. As we'll head to the top of the six. Final chance for the Raptors. And we'll be right back here on Fight Fly, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And we welcome you back to the top of the six as the Mudcats have taken a 7-5 lead and the Raptors down to their final three outs. And Livingstone still on the mound for the Mudcats. This is make or break time for the Raptors. Their last opportunity, they need to have two runs in order to continue. And here's the pitch. And that's in there for a strike. As the counts one and no. And that one's low. Swing and a miss, strike two, and it counts even. And 
just right on the outside edge. Counts full at three and two. And outside, ball four. And the Raptors have a leadoff runner on. Yeah, that was an important walk for the Raptors. It's going to bring up their leadoff hitter. Yes, that's a ball. Counts to one and zero. And that's high. It goes to the backstop. And the runner will go to second with ease. As that's Caden Lewis. And it counts to an 0 to Niff. Here's the pitch. And that's in there for a strike. And that's grounded. Shortstop has it, though the first is in time, out number one. And the runner will get the third. That was a good hit. Bouncing a hard ground ball to the shortstop. He was able to make a good play and throw the runner out at first base. Raptors do have a runner on third in scoring position. One out. And now bring up number five, Dodson. That's high, one and oh. Here's the 1-0. And just high, 2-0. And, Count goes to 3-0. And, and that's just high, ball four. And it'll be runners in the corners. Runner's gonna immediately steal second base, knowing that the pitcher can't make that throw to him without bringing the runner on third home. So now we have runners on second and third. Still one out. Mudcats coach is calling a timeout to go talk to the pitcher. And it looks like the Mudcats are making a pitching change. Looks like they're bringing in Austin Tipton. And it'll be runners on second and third with one out. And we'll take a quick little break as Tipton warms up. As we'll be right back here on 5 Fly, we're by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And we welcome you back to the top of the six. Mudcats still lead it seven to five as the Raptors have runners on second and third, just one out. With a new pitcher Tipton on the mound. And batting for the Raptors is 
Number nine, J.D. Wynn. And Tipton. Throwing his last warm-up pitches. With Wynn now in the batter's box. Here's Tipton's pitch, and that's grounded. Second baseman gets past him. One runner will score, here's the second runner, and we're, we are all tied up at seven. And that is a big hit by J.D. Wynn. That was a great hit. Took a hard bounce. Austin Janelle was not able to come up with it. And still one out for the Raptors. All tied up at seven. The Raptors have one man on second base. And it'll be Nicholson at the plate. That's low. Here's the pitch, and that's popped and fouled and out of play. As the count goes to one and one. Here's the one and one, and that's grounded. Goes off the pitcher, throw the first is in time. And the runner advances the third with two outs. Yeah, that was a high bouncing ball. Just got over the head of Tipton, but Austin Janelle was able to make the catch, throw the runner out at first, keep the score tied. The runner at second has advanced to third. O'Donnell at the plate. Has a chance to drive in the leading run. Here's the pitch, and that's fouled back. Count will go to 0-1. is a fast runner. Any pass ball, we can expect to see him go home. And that's a swing and a miss, strike two. And that's grounded. And gets past the second baseman and the Raptors take the lead. And it's now eight to seven. RBI single by O'Donnell. Yeah, it looked like the second baseman slipped, fell the wrong direction when the ball got through. As the Raptors get an RBI single with two outs and have reclaimed the lead. It'll be number 50, Kobe Ward. Here's Tipton's pitch. And that one's grounded. And that's going to go into left field. And another single for the Raptors. And it'll be runners on first and second. Mudcats trying to just put this inning to bed. Two outs. And it'll be number seven, Jackson Weber. And a chance for some insurance for the Raptors. Here's the pitch. And that's high, 1-0. And that's grounded. Third baseman has it. And tries to go to get the runner. And everybody is safe. 
And his base is loaded two outs. Yeah, that was a hard hit ground ball to third base, and Keller picked up the ball. Just tried to tag the runner as he ran by O'Donnell, but just wasn't able to grab him. And we'll have another infield meeting with the coach. And if you're tipped and, you know, base is loaded, just focus on the batter and get that final out. This will be number 15, Ward at the plate. Here's the pitch. And that's grounded right back to the third baseman. Shortstop will pick it up, and one will score. And every runner is safe, and they're going to call him out. And the run's not going to count, but Raptors take an 8-7 lead as we'll head to the bottom of the six. Coach Nicholson not happy about that play. It appears as if the ball was tossed over to the third baseman, and he was bobbling it a little bit as the runner slid in. And definitely a, a close call. Well, bottom of the six, Raptors had the lead. Mudcats are gonna do what they can to try to attack on two runs to win this game. This is for all the marbles. And the Raptors dugout is excited and looks like everybody is safe and the run will score and it's going to be 9-7 to seven Raptors. Mudcat's going to retake the field. Looks like the decision was overturned. And a big change of events here in the top of the six. Still two outs. And still bases loaded. More opportunities for the Raptors. And Tipton back on the mound. And now up to the plate is number 12, the Dishi. And that's a soft hit, grounded to the right side and fouled. Here's a pitch. And good contact, fouled back. And it counts 0-2. Tipton is ready. Here's a pitch. And foul back. Dadishi stays alive. Tipton ahead in the count. Here's a pitch. And right down the middle, strike three. And the Mudcats finally get out of the inning. And final chance for the Mudcats as we'll head to the bottom of the six as the Raptors take a 9-7 lead. Thank you. 
And we welcome you to the bomb, the six. Raptors have a 9-7 lead. And the Mudcats down to their final three outs. Word on the mound to try to close it out. And that's fouled back for strike one. Got Fulton Warland leading off this inning on the plate. Here's the 0-1. And that finds the inside edge for strike two. And Ward ahead in the count. Here's a pitch. And that's grounded. And it gets past the third baseman. Yep. That was a slow hit ground ball. And I think Niff expected it to come at him a little faster than it did. He wasn't able to, to get it to time. And the Mudcats will have a leadoff runner with no outs. It'll be number three, Moss the Jimmy. Here's the pitch. And that's a liner. Wow. It's a right field. And that's a single. It'll be runners on first and second. No outs. And the Mudcats are in business. Looks like uh, the Raptors coach calling a timeout to have a conference at the pitcher's mound. The uh, Mudcats are at the bottom of their batting order right now, so it's important that they try to get one more on base as they come around to the top. Give them a chance to score some runs. And pitching change for the Raptors, as it'll be number nine win. As Ward's day is done. And we'll take a little break as the wind warms up. And we will be back to the bottom of the six. Something brewing for the Mudcats. Runners on first and second, no outs. As the count's one to know. For Aziz, the right fielder. Here's the pitch. And that's low, two and oh. Hard hit ball, fouled away. And the count's two and one. <laughs> and outside, hitters count at three and one. And a win down in the count. Raptors do not want to get a walk here. They need some pitches over the plate. There's one. And the count's not full at three and two. That's a high pitch. This allows the number 11 batter for the Mudcats to take the base on a walk, loading up the bases and bringing up their leadoff batter, Austin Tipton. And no outs for the Mudcats. And a big swing and three runs could win the game as that's low, 1-0. And, oh. Here's a pitch. Tipton lines this one into left field. Run will score. 
Here comes the second run. And we are all tied up at nine. No out. That was a big two-run RBI hit by Austin Tipton right over to the left fielder. And it'll be Miller up to the plate with the winning run in scoring position. And the Raptors are going to have a meeting. No outs. And one hit could win this game. And I'm sure the Raptors are doing a lot of talking over. Trying to get Wynn to relax and try to get a try to scramble for an out. And Miller comes to the plate. Runner on second, no outs. And that's in there for strike one. It's a good pitch. Right down the middle. Had some nice speed on it. That's a fly ball in the center field, and that one is caught. Great catch by the center fielder. And it'll be one away for the Mudcats. And the runners stay put at first and second, and it'll be Kirksey up to the plate, the shortstop. Here's the pitch to the bow, and that's grounded to the right side. And that's a fair ball. Fair ball. And here comes the winning runner. That's the ball game, folks. And that will do it. That's a net cap to win this game with a score of 10 to 9. As they walk it off. Walk off hit for Bo Kirksey. And now do it as they're celebrating on the field with the dog pile. And they have won the championship. Well, I hope they're all vaccinated because that's a super spreader event out there on the field. <laughs> as the celebration has begun for the Mudcats, as the final score today is the Mudcats 10 and the Raptors 9 on the walk-off hit by Bo Kirksey. What a great game. We had about four or five different lead changes. And uh, the Raptors made a strong showing in the bottom or the top of the sixth inning to take the lead. And hats off to the Mudcats for coming back. Come from behind victory. And just a big moment for this team. Win a championship, get to celebrate. In about a couple minutes, going to see the trophy presentation here on Vibe Live. So stay tuned. As the Mudcats win this game with a score of 10 to 9 over the Raptors. And as Mark said, a lot of lead changes, about four of them. And that's just in the last few innings as each team was down to their final three outs and each delivered. And until the Mudcats here in the bottom of the six score three to win this game with a score of 10 to 9. Raptors played a great game, had some great pitching and some good defensive plays as well. And hats off to them, they both had great seasons. Yeah. 
Is there a Pee Wee sign? Yeah, actually, if you look back at the players, it's actually a solid team. Oh, we had, no, we had some, a fantastic team. It was, it was you know, Jack, Hodge, Bear Flash, uh, Miles Kelly. Miles Kelly was on it. Miles yeah. was a catcher. Yeah, Benjamin was a pitcher. And you had Adams was right for Pee Wee Adams. Yeah. He didn't do anything, he didn't but he did hit that one home yeah. run. <laughs> And we welcome you back to Vipe Live here for the trophy presentation for the Mudcats and the Raptors. As the Mudcats get the championship trophy, and the Raptors get their second place trophies. As the team is and the parents are huddled in front of home plate by the backstop. And that's each name for the Mudcats that's being called out to get their trophies. And it was a great game today. And as Mark Burrell said, at least four different lead changes. And that happened within the last two innings until the Mudcats finally broke through in the bottom of the sixth, score three, to win this game with the score 10 to nine. And as you hear, the trophy presentations are being called out. And so that'll do it for me. And you'll hear Enrique Rodriguez at seven o'clock for the championship tonight. And make sure to listen to the trophy presentation going on right now. As we thank you for listening to Five Ply presented by Academy of Sports and Outdoors. Enjoy the presentation.